Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to OVW TV on the night of SNS number 100. But we have a great night of action coming your way. That we do. We've got my man Cash Flow taking on Dustin Jackson in singles competition. But let's not forget about that sinister six way. Doc, tell us about it. That's right, we have a match with OVW Heavyweight Championship implications for tonight's Super Gauntlet, where six former champions will compete for the coveted last spot in that gauntlet match. All former heavyweight champions, including a couple surprises, Josh. Well, while we're talking about that championship, let's not forget about the Anarchy Championship. Sin Bodie will be here tonight to face Shiloh Jones. That's right, and that's not the only title on the line. The TV title's on the line. Coming up first, let's go to Brittany Devere with the introductions. The following contest is a gauntlet match for the OVW Television Championship. Introducing first, KTD. Right out of the gate tonight with OVW action. KTD coming out here for the TV title tournament, Doc. You know, KTD's looking to seize the opportunity tonight to catapult himself into superstar. That he is, we've seen a little bit of a different KTD as of late, a little bit more aggression out of KTD. Well, that's the way it's gotta be. If you wanna be the champ, you gotta bring the fury and KTD's look in the break. And his fury. opponent, Chase Destiny. Well, Chase Destiny has stated before that it is his destiny to hold gold in OVW. Honestly, I think that this, this young man has a very, very bright future ahead of him. Uh, either way, both these young upstarts looking to capture their first taste of gold here in OVW. Will one of these young men be able to capture it? I'll tell you, another impressive young man that is getting another opportunity in this match tonight was Tony Bizzo, who went almost all the way last week. It'll be interesting to see if he can pull out the victory tonight. Collar and elbow tie up here. Quick takedown by KTD. This is a one count for referee Charlene McKenzie as Chase Destiny just powers KTD back to the corner. Goes for the Irish whip. KTD reverses a double reverse. KTD goes for the up and over, gets it, and an arm drag. Beautiful arm drag there from KTD just taking Chase Destiny off his balance. KTD looks to be going for the... Uh, Butterfly oh. effect out of nowhere. God. KTD has been eliminated. Introducing the next competitor. Well, Chase Destiny may have laid out KTD with that butterfly effect, but now he's got to face the reigning TV champion, Drew Hernandez. Drew Hernandez, though, can barely make it into the ring until Chase Destiny gets on top of him. This is that ferocity we were talking about. You have to bring the fury, and Chase Destiny is bringing it to Drew Hernandez. Destiny takes the fight to Hernandez. Hernandez manages to reverse the Irish whip using the size to his advantage. Boots to the face of Drew as Chase Destiny's going to town here. Whip gets reversed, another double reverse here. Sternum oh. first into the corner, but Hernandez gets a boot up. Looks like that shoulder might have taken a little bit of damage there. We see Destiny clutching at it. Certainly so, and if Chase Destiny has injured his rotator cuff, that might be it for him here, but luckily he's able to climb himself up to vertical base as he starts pounding away. That shoulder must be doing all right because he's firing off some rights on Drew Hernandez. Hernandez cuts him off with a boot to the midsection. The Mayan Mahler's back at it again. The Mayan Mahler. As he just snatches in Destiny. Oh, we've seen this. Drew for, for that wicked power bomb. Oh, oh can he get him up? Can Destiny, he get him up? Destiny fights out of it. Looks like he's going for the butterfly effect. Hernandez. Did he get it? Did he get it? No, Hernandez looks like he threw his legs and might have kicked out on that. Whoa, no, he didn't get all of it. Drew Hernandez kicked out on one right there. Hernandez may have had his bell rung there briefly. Just muscle memory using his wherewithal to get to his feet and get to that corner. Trying to create separation. Creating some space for momentum there. Big European uppercut from Chase Destiny on the Drew. Drew Hernandez looks rocked. Destiny charges in for that boot. Hernandez cuts him off. Uh oh, going for it again. Can he get the power bomb? Oh! 
Chase Destiny has been eliminated. Introducing the next competitor. It was not. But maybe Chase Destiny's tag team partner, Nigel Winters, it'll be his destiny. He drop kicks through Hernandez right from the get-go. Nigel looking to uh, not only take out, get a little measure of revenge for his tag partner, but looking to advance himself. Going that double stop to the thoraco lumbar spine of Drew Hernandez. His what? Basically where the thoracic and the lumbar spine meet in the center of your back. Oh, his back, okay, gotcha. Nigel Winters looks like he's going for a big maneuver here. Runs big monkey in. flip, perhaps. Look at this! Momentum on the, uh, the side of, of Nigel! Uh, and technique, beautifully done as he goes for the cover. Nigel Winters on Drew! Not enough, just a two count. Drew kicking out with authority. Just flings Nigel. Shot to the midsection. Oh man. Nigel Winters kicked off Drew Hernandez again. Drew Hernandez, the defending champion, but right now, looks like his championship's in jeopardy. Nigel goes for the monkey flip again. Drew manages to catch him. Oh no! No! no. Can he hit it? Can Nigel get out of this? Power bomb! Hernandez about breaks him in half! Nigel Winters has been eliminated. Introducing the next competitor. Nigel Winters has been eliminated. That's an understatement. And here we see Alex Zane. Alex Zane, a relative newcomer here to OBW. Trying to make a name for himself. Drew Hernandez says, not tonight. Not in my gauntlet. Well, this young man, Alex Zane, looks impressive. That he does. Alex Zane trying to come in here and uh, stake a claim to that OVW Television Championship. And what a night it would be for him if he, were man if he manages to take out Drew Hernandez. Well, last week, we saw Tony Bizzo almost capture the championship on his debut. Perhaps Alex Zane will be the man to win the championship on his debut. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this OVW Television title tournament. You never know who's going to show up. Brand new faces, faces from the past. Each week, that champion doesn't know who he's going to face. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what agi agility and power from Alex Zane. Zane now on the outside. Look at that springboard, Zane, with the variation of a Rana. Big drop kick on the Drew Hernandez. Alex Zane is rocking. Can he capture the OVW Television Championship? We'll find out as we come back on OVW TV. Wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. It doesn't matter if you go out a day in your life. Within four to six weeks, we're gonna teach you how to weld. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to OVW TV. The, o the television championship gauntlet match in progress is Alex Zane still taking on Drew Hernandez. And Alex Zane has been quite impressive as we see him do a springboard double knees to the back of Drew Hernandez. Oh my God! Running, shooting, start, press out of Zane! What? Only a two count! How in the hell was that only a two count? It was back and forth action during the break, ladies and gentlemen. Drew Hernandez and Alex Zane just taking the fight to each other. And let's not forget, it's tonight is Saturday Night Special number 100, and already on television, the action is getting crazy, Josh. A historic night for OVW as we celebrate the 100th Saturday Night uh -oh. Special. What's going to happen here? Big corkscrew! Oh! oh, God. Zane went for the corkscrew. Drew Hernandez got the knees up. Right into the lower back. Or did, or did Zane hit it? I can't even tell. It looks like they're both worse for wear. Drew, though, gets him. Hooks for the power bomb. Hits it. Drew hits. 
It's the apocalypse! But he's got a cover! He's got a cover! That's it. Alex Zane has been eliminated. Impressive the final competitor. of Alex Zane. Mark my words, this won't be the last to see of that young man, Alex Zane. But speaking of new up and comers, it was this man who went the distance last week, but this week, Scott, he's coming in fresh. Tony Bizzo comes out here, the last man in this gauntlet match. Drew Hernandez does not look pleased. Oh my God. Drew Hernandez looks like he's been through war. He's been through hell and back. I don't know how much he has left to take on Tony Pizzo. Oh, wait a second. Look at Hernandez. Hernandez you're, you're a big guy. You're a big guy. Just hang on a second. Oh. No, he did. Tony Pizzo just slapped him right back. Will not take that disrespect. Huge clothesline from the young man, Tony Pizzo. Bizzo takes down Hernandez. Look at this, the strength! And a good God slam from Tony Bizzo to Hernandez. Weighs upwards of close to 300 pounds, Josh. And Bizzo picked him up like he weighed nothing. The power out of this man, ladies and gentlemen, is scary. He has freakish strength. Well, last week, Tony Bizzo ran out of gas. It looks to me like he's got a full tank here. As Drew Hernandez, though, kicks up. Tony Bizzo hits the ropes for momentum, but cannot tackle the big young man down. Well, I was going to say that's that's a rookie mistake telegraphing, but I don't think Tony cares one way or another. Another nice feat of strength with a huge spot buster from Tony Bizzo onto your television champion, Drew Hernandez. And Tony Bizzo's looking to finish it here, Josh. Well, Bizzo may actually have Hernandez's number here this evening. Drew is rocked and on the ropes, literally and figuratively. Gets him. Looks Short like he's going little for that knee. Suplex. We saw him put away quite a few competitors last week. Can he hit it on Drew? Drew hooks the leg and goes down. Hernandez blocks it, drops down to his knees. That was that was smart of Drew out. to drop his center of gravity. Hernandez calling timeout. There's no timeouts in pro wrestling. I think Drew might be a little bit hot right now. He's, he's, he's taking off the vest. Throws the vest right up into the face of Bizzo and goes right to the throat. Drew Hernandez uses the distraction to take advantage, going for the power bomb. Drew's it got cover. That's it. Tony Bizzo has been eliminated. Your winner and still OVW Television Champion, Drew Hernandez. Hernandez throwing the shirt into the face of Bizzo, manages to snatch victory and get that power bomb in. Great showing by Tony Bizzo, but he just couldn't quite get the opportunity to win the championship. But speaking of opportunities, the OVW Combine coming up. It's Pro Wrestling's first ever Combine where 15 people, men and women, will be awarded scholarships based on skill and charisma. And it will be the first ever Pro Wrestling accredited trade school in the United States. Don't miss out on your chance to become professional wrestling's next network superstar. You know, and speaking of network superstars, right now the OVW Wrestling Network is up and running for only $4.99 a month. You will get access to exclusive content like one of the first in our seminar series featuring Billy Gunn. And the last Saturday Night Special, April's SNS, has just been posted. Ladies and gentlemen, trust me, this is the best value in sports entertainment. Several great events, but speaking of great events, we have a huge announcement to make tonight. On June 14th, on the birthday of the U.S. Army, we will have a one-of-a-kind show that will be a thank you to our men and women that have served and continue to serve us every day as we're going to Fort Knox, 
So, and it will be free for all veterans and all active men and women service members, but the military has gone and told us that civilians will have the opportunity, will only have a few tickets that others can buy. You will have to go to Fort Knox ahead of time to pre-register. Tickets will be on sale, though, starting next week. But before we get to that, we have a huge match at tonight's Saturday Night Special, the OVW We'll be on the line in a super gauntlet, but we're getting ready to have a Sinister Six match with championship implications. Let's take it to Mercy for the introductions. The following is a Sinister Six-way contest scheduled for one fall. The winner of this contest will be the last entry into the gauntlet for the OVW Heavyweight Championship at tonight's Saturday Night Special. The rules are as follows. Only two competitors can be in the ring at a time. However, if a competitor either leaves the ring or is removed from the ring, the next competitor who enters will be the legal man. Well, this is gonna be a big match, Josh, and we didn't expect this, but it looks to me like the Trinidad Titan, Justin Smooth, your OVW Heavyweight Champion, is going to join us here at ringside. Well, Justin Smooth, not on, uh, not on our schedule to be here this evening, but I'm always happy to see him. Well, I guess he's trying to get a front row seat here because this match will have huge implications for him as he defends that championship in the Super Gauntlet at tonight's Saturday Night Special number 100. You can still get your tickets now until 5 p.m. today. Go to gladiersportsnetwork.live to witness history tonight at the Davis Arena. Well, Justin Smooth wants to, uh, as you said, get a front row seat, scout his competition. This is going to be huge, Josh. I can't wait. History's going to be made. We're going to find out who gets the last spot coming up right here on OVW TV. If a client comes to me and they've been a victim of domestic violence, that's not just a single event. That's a state that they are in. So we're going to address their immediate safety. But throughout that process, I'm dealing with a bullied client. We can't make child custody based on fear, especially when there's no longer something to be afraid of. When we've addressed the attacker and removed them from the situation, now we can make reasoned decisions, not fearful ones. Introducing the final competitor in the Sinister Six way, Michael Hayes! Oh my God, Michael Hayes is back! You have got to be kidding me, ladies and gentlemen! We promise surprises! I'm shocked! Look at the history, look at these men in the ring, Josh. Some of the greatest OVW champions of all time. Of course, not taking away from our current great champion, Justin Smooth here, as Michael Hayes returns That's to right. the Davis Arena. He's That's eyeballing right, Smooth. I'm the champ, baby. You better recognize. I am not impressed with nobody in this ring. You understand me? None of these guys impress me not one bit. Yeah, when you see Michael Hayes and Jay Bradley in the ring, now Doc, uh, let, let me see if I got the rules correct oh, here. Yeah, before things get too crazy, he's seen that clothesline from Bradley onto Hayes, so it is Lucha-style tag rule. So as one man rolls out, another man can enter this contest and is legal. So no tags, and the winner will get the last spot in the championship match. And tonight, Saturday Night Special number 100, Look at this, Rudy switchblade. Wow, that looks first, awful. First time we've seen Rudy in a long time. That springboard kick takes out Mr. Marvelous. Yeah, he hasn't been here for a while, and he thinks he could come back and try to challenge me for my championship. He I got mean, another thing coming. To play devil's advocate a little bit, if I could, Rudy switchblade was a wonderful OBW champion, Justin. Hey, he doesn't impress me not one bit. I'm sorry. He's a good guy, but I am oh. way better. Rudy Switchblade oh. playing his old tricks there. Although Justin 
now that you've seen it. Well, someone else that's seen Rudy Switchblade's tricks in the past, Adam Revolver. These two men know each other very well. Oh, gosh. Kid to the small of the back. Rudy Switchblade standing tall by himself. Whoa. Wow. Rudy looked like he was going for a dive there. Jay Bradley just kicks him Whoa. right in the back. Oh, my God. Devastating DDT onto the apron from Jay Bradley onto Rudy Switchblade. Justin, if you had to pick a competitor you wanted to face last, do you have a, a choice here? Absolutely not. Absolutely, none of these guys impressed me, and none of these guys are going to do anything to the champ. Oh, 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 look at the power out of Jay Bradley. Justin, how do you expect to, to be able to counter something like that? Bradley is strong, but I am stronger and I am more in shape. Josh, have you not seen me? I have, I have. I mean, no disrespect, champ. I'm Jay just Bradley asking. Bradley takes down Amon. So, Smooth, you're saying no matter the accolades, no matter how great, how strong, how technical any of these men are, you're saying that you can take each and every one of them down tonight. Accolades don't mean nothing. You gotta be smart in this sport. Oh! That was not smart right there. Certainly that was not, not a smart move. Nobody Jay in the pool as Jay Bradley comes down. There you Mr. Go, Marvelous just. Mr. Marvelous. Driving Over the cover. Bradley into the oh canvas. My gosh. This is such a joke. Well, I can't smooth. believe what I'm watching. Well, looky here, it's Justin. You got to think that no matter who is last in that match, they do have the advantage, though. They are coming in fresh. So they say. We'll see what happens. I'm just here to scout my uh, my future opponents here. Melvin, marvelous, and Adam Revolver, two men who have tussled more than once inside that squared circle. And Melvin just looks ticked off the more and more Adam chops and punches him. Adam Revolver, a little worse for wear, is, is taken down by Mr. Marvelous. Irish Whip sends Revolver across the ring. Melvin telegraphs that. There it is, there's that sleeper. What an amazing matchup here. Time to go to here. sleep, baby. Notice everyone's going for their big maneuvers quick. They want to save energy for tonight's contest, but still be able to capture the victory here to get the advantage as the last man That's in the right. Super Gauntlet. Everybody wants a shot at the champ. What do you expect? Well, Smooth, can you blame them? It's, it's the greatest prize we have in the region. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to I'm sorry to let them down, but ain't nobody gonna be taking this big gold belt from me, baby. Well, I mean, you gotta think there's competitors around the world that want to hold that championship match, and several internationally known superstars have held that championship. Smooth, you're well on your way to making wrestling history here, and these men also want a shot of history. Trust me, man. I ain't worried about nobody around the world. Nobody in the state of Kentucky is gonna take on the Titan for his championship. Well, you Justin, understand me? Justin, you have a target on your back that's not just in the state of Kentucky, but worldwide uh -oh. with that LVW Heavyweight Championship. Hang on. And I have it I have it under good authority. Adam Revolver is absolutely not a fan of heights. Oh, look at this. As we see wow. Michael Hayes now. Oh, he's crazy. Hayes in the ball position. Oh, good God. The Tower of he Doom. Crazy. Double powerbomb superplex. Wait a minute. He's so crazy. Where's Where's this? Blade, though, going Where's for his patented frog going? splash. Oh, Rudy up God. top hits it. He's won the OVW title with that before! Oh, not this two. time. So close, Hayes manages to break it up the last second. These fans are brainwashed. Headbutt to the chest to Jay Bradley by Hayes. And a revolver, right, a revolver rolls out, so these two are now legal. Hayes and Jay Bradley. Hayes going for those patented headbutts to the chest. There you oh. go. There you go. Stop that nonsense. Boomstick coming up! Oh. What the hell? Oh. I guess Bradley ain't too smart after all. Hayes with a tur twirling side slam! Wow. Face breaker out of Hayes! Amon's in! Sees the opportunity, takes the advantage. Is he gonna set up Hayes to go straight to hell? It looks like it! Oh. STH by Amon! Bye bye. Rudy Switchblade though, back in. Chin buster onto Amon. Neckbreaker oh, follows that up. That is crazy, baby. Nice combo. There's that Adam Revolver. Big crazy. leg sweep. Oh, about out of breath here, guys. No one does it better than Adam Revolver. But Mr. Marvelous oh, Scoop. Wow, that's Slam. Crazy. Hold on, I got to do something. Justin, what are you doing? What? Smooth in the ring, just yanking Marvelous out that. now. Well, I guess it doesn't, I mean, I don't know what you do. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Who's the winner? Oh, oh my God! Street 
justice. Justin Smooth hitting everything that walks. Your OVW heavyweight champion. The referee tall. has deemed this match a no contest. A, a no contest? What's that mean for the Super Gauntlet tonight? I don't know who's gonna go on last, but I can tell you this much, the Trinidad Titan Justin Smooth, your OVW heavyweight champion, just made a statement. And that statement is that tonight's Super Gauntlet, the Trinidad Titan is a force to be reckoned with. Personal Fitness and Rehabilitation is the official training and medical partner for Ohio Valley Wrestling. Personal Fitness and Rehabilitation is designed to help manage spine, hip, and knee pain both before and after surgery. Personal Fitness and Rehabilitation will ensure that you reach and maintain your lifestyle and fitness goals. Get back in the game of life. Call 502-875-4737 for an appointment now or visit www.pfrhealth.com. Dot com to learn more. Your life, your health, better. Hi, my name is Barry Radcliffe. You might recognize me from such films as The Longest Ride or Ted 2. Now, as a successful actor, I have two planes, a supermodel wife, countless exotic cars, and a ton of cash. You might think it couldn't get any better than this, but you'd be wrong for only $4.99. You could get OVWWrestlingNetwork.com. That's OVWWrestlingNetwork.com for only $4.99. Now, will your life be as good as this? No! Will it be better? Yes, and I guarantee that. That's not valid anywhere. OVWWrestlingNetwork.com is only $4.99. Tomorrow's yesterday is today. Prices so low, they're insane. Brought to you by Lemmy Law. Need a lawyer? Get Lemmy at LemmyLaw.com. OVW and Lemmy Law, an unbeatable tactic. Oh my, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the bottom right hand side of your screen. What the hell is he doing you here? You know that ponytail. That's Sam Thompson. Why is Sam Thompson out here? I mean, I, uh, he looks like he's on the cleaning crew. He has absolutely no business being out in ringside for this. You know that Thompson lost his job because he couldn't defeat Cash Flow. He put his career on the line, and now he's uh, he looks like he's making a career in environmental. Oh my God! Oh my God! But back in the ring, that is a super no, duper. No, 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 no! One, two, yeah. and three. King's Ransom Ring Supreme! Here a go. shoulder tackling SB out of the ring. Hey, and look who's back. What in the hell is he doing out here? Clearly delivering concessions. You didn't know that if you're VIP, you get uh, hand-delivered concessions? Yeah, that's nice. He could do it on the outside of the ringside area, on the other side of the barricades. I don't think the fan cares. Oh, it doesn't know! But Brandon Espinosa still cares, and Cash Flow took his eye off the prize. He does, it's only, I haven't seen him all night. Cash is in the ring, Sam comes out. He is a staff member of Ohio Valley Wrestling doing a staff person's job. Espinosa from the top, connects, no. the leg is hooked. Cash, one, two, three. Oh. It's a conspiracy. The following contest is scheduled for a one fall. Introducing first, Cash Flow! Well, there he is, the career killer himself, Cash Flow, making his way to the ring. And I'm excited for this contest because he's facing a great young upstart in Dustin Jackson. Yeah, yeah, Dustin Jackson, upstart, whatever. Let's talk about the man in the ring right now, Cash Flow, the professor of chop class, if you will. And his opponent, Dustin Jackson. I ain't seen him, Cash. Cash, Cash asking if I've seen Sam Thompson, but I haven't seen him yet. Well, Dustin Jackson making his way to the ring as Cash Flow's looking around. We know the last couple weeks, Cash Flow has had a couple unexpected losses after one. Sam Thompson, now an employee of OVW, has came out for sweeping the floor, uh, delivering popcorn, and it seemed at very inopportune times that it has caused Cash Flow to get distracted and cost him the victory. Oh, very inopportune times. Come on. I still want to know what it was. Why? Who decided to give him his job back? Well, either way, speaking of opportune times, Dustin Jackson has had opportunities to prove himself, finally defeating his former tag team partner turned enemy Colton Cage after months of torment and has sent him 
packing, it looked like for quite a while, Colton Cage will be resting up his injuries after going, well, not through the table, but against the table last week. Well, Colton Cage taking out in that last man standing match, Dustin Jackson closed one chapter, but Cash Flow stands in his way right now. Dustin going for the sunset flip there. Cash, though, catches Jackson. Big insecurity from Dustin Jackson on the Cash Flow. Dustin Jackson with a boot into the head of oh. Cash. Look at that splash out of Dustin. You know, I hate to. I hate to give him credit for anything. I'm glad that I didn't. His cash just turns it right around. Oh my God. Ooh. Headbutt to the jaw and then a chop out of cash. Look at this. Big flying. It looked like a forearm from Dustin Jackson on the cash flow right on the button. Oh. Cash jump flow with just a chop right to the chest. I don't think Cash managed to get all of that one. Dustin looks like he managed to get out of the way. Dustin Jackson hits the ropes for momentum, goes for that sunset flip again. Cash has it scouted. Oh, Cash, no! Basement drop kick out of Dustin Jackson. Like he's got cash on the ropes as Dustin goes up to the top. Dustin Jackson goes for the drop kick. Oh my God, he about went through cash flow. Shotgun drop kick off the top out of Dustin Jackson. Cash flow extending the hand in friendship to Dustin Jackson. Oh, breaks the tights of Dustin, sending his face right into the second buckle. Oh, come on, Josh. That was a cheap tactic, and you know it. <laughs> yes, I do, and I love it. I love watching cash flow just hurt people. Oh, well, tonight's your lucky night, then, because Dustin <laughs> Jackson's in a world of pain right now, taking the punishment from the career killer as he calls himself Cash Flow. Just right hand straight into the jaw, Dustin, Dustin Jackson. Cash Flow mouthing off into the camera here. Wait a minute. Wait. Hang on a second. Like Cash taking a little extra Is that what look think? here. Wait, that, oh, come on! That's Sam Thompson, he's the camera guy! Wait a second, Cash, kick up, kick up! What? Your winner, Dustin! Dustin Jackson picks up the victory as Cash Flow surprisingly reveals the cameraman to be Sam Thompson. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Who in the hell gave Sam Thompson a camera? Well, they say take a picture, it'll last longer as Sam Thompson's getting a little close-up view on an angry Cash Flow. Uh-oh, Cash, you gotta be careful. Sam Thompson is an employee here. We're gonna employ, break him in half, Cash! Stop this right now, stop. You cannot, you, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. take your hands off of him. What are you doing, You Steve? can't put your hands on this man. He's an employee. We saw what happened when Dimes accidentally struck Jason Frost last week, cameraman. He lost his career as a professional wrestler. Yes, he did. He lost it to you, but Nothing says we couldn't hire him as an employee. He is an employee of OVW. And if you remember correctly, what happened to Dimes out here last week, he put his hands on an employee and I was forced to suspend him. So if you don't let go of our employee, you are suspended. Oh, come on, Dean. How's that fair? How's that fair to Cat? Hey, we saw what happened last week. You heard Dean Hill himself. He lost his career. I don't care if you make him an employee or not. He needs to go. He's done. His career is over. His career as a wrestler is over unless he is reinstated. Right now, this young man is an employee. It's as simple as that. An employee. You cannot get your hands on this man unless he's reinstated as, as a wrestler. Right now, he's an employee. You know what? I'm tired of messing.
passing around. This kid has cost me so much money in the last week. Yeah, yeah go ahead and reinstate him right what? now. No. I want to talk to you. You want him reinstated? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes. Reinstate him now. Sam Thompson, you're reinstated. What? And with a snap of Dean Hill's what fingers, Sam whoa, Thompson. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Sam, Sam, stop, Sam, 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 save it, Sam, listen to me, go get your gear on, big man, save it for later. Save it for later? Sam, go get your gear on, you're a professional wrestler again. Oh, come on, Sam Thompson has been reinstated and he is back. In OVW, Sam Thompson has returned per Dean Hill's law. You have to assure them and protect them from the idea that they have to pick one. They have to be able to love both of their parents as much as they want to. What makes this really difficult is your spouse may not be sending that same message, and you have to do it anyway. That's what's important. Your children want to know what's going to happen to them they have to know that they're loved, and they have to know that they're allowed to love both of their parents. And you have to hold that line, even if you're the only one doing it. It's main event time here on OVW TV with the Anarchy Championship on the line in an empty arena brawl. A bit of anarchy actually brought this match about. It was scheduled to be here with the OVW faithful watching the match. However, Sin's flight unfortunately got delayed and delayed and delayed. The OVW fans are the greatest fans in the world. They kept sticking around. Finally, about an hour after TV taping, we finally had to send the fans home, but Dean Hill said on TV, the match must still happen. You can see most of the Raw Roster has stuck around for this, and it's going to be Sin Bodie against Shala right now in an empty arena brawl, Josh. That's right. Sin Bodie got to the building, demanded he had his shot at the OVW Anarchy Championship. Dean Hill, he said, okay. Yeah, and Dean, do it. Dean Hill said, you know what? We're going to surround the ring with the OVW superstars. We're going to do an empty arena brawl because this is the definition of anarchy, Doc. And we still wanted to present this match to everyone watching at home, and we will make this up to all the fans who are here and present live each and every Wednesday. <laughs> Man, this is anarchy here, Josh. I can't wait to see what goes down. Oh, absolutely. You know, I don't think we've ever done anything like this in the history of OVW. I don't believe so. I don't, I don't remember ever seeing any empty arena brawls in the Davis Arena. Well, I can tell you this much, though. Things are about to get uh, a little weird around here. Well, we know that sound, that haunting music. And there he is, the warlord of weird, Sin Bodhi. Are those, those firecrackers? Those are firecrackers. What is he doing? He's a braver man than I am. Fire in the hole. Sin Bodhi's here. Uh -huh. He could have. He could have had a medical emergency, but I don't think he cares. D does he care? Does he know? Does it matter? Sin saying, "Let's get weird." Hang on! Oh my God! Oh God! Sid Bodie just went through the table! And that's the start of the match! Sin Bodie dropped a uh, uh, drop kick off the apron right through a table! And Shiloh and the entourage are, are celebrating like they already won, but like I said, this match just began! Oh goodness. There you see members of the OVW locker room cheering on Sin Bodie. I think they're sick and tired of Shiloh. Hang on, on. cover! How'd he kick out of that? It was a one count? 
Anyway, Shallow's not certainly, he's one to boast and, and walk around like, hold on a second, another cover here. As you, I, I can literally smell those firecrackers stuff. <laughs> yeah, the oh, sulfur God. and gunpowder smell permeating the Davis Arena. No kidding. Ooh! Oh, Sin yeah. thrown back through the remnants of that table. Chalo going for another cover here. I think even the referee might have been a little bit confused there. I mean, this is insane. I mean, I don't know what to expect here. This is anarchy. Oh, we didn't think this match was going to happen. Oh! Oh, God. This is getting violent. It's getting scary. The OVW uh, locker room. God, good Lord. Shallow tried to, tried to almost jump over the chairs. I think they slid out from under him. I think he's still got a shot in, though. And this thing, this thing is anarchy at its, at its purest form. Well, Sin Bodhi said that this was going to be ultra-violent tonight. Oh, God. The end of that chair to the upper back of Sin Bodhi, this Shallow Jones. Good God. Shallow doing the running, man. And just choking Sin. With the wire. Oh, everything's legal. Good Lord, the camera cable's wrapped around his throat. Oh, this, this one truly a locker room sellout. <laughs> Got the whole OVW roster ringside watching as Shallow continues to go to town on Sin Bodhi, who, remember, started this match by getting put through a table. Oh, backdropped over the rail goes Shallow Jones. Oh, no, they might end up on Shepherdsville Road. <laughs> Uh, who knows? Anything goes here in this empty arena brawl. Oh, oh God. Shiloh thrown into the stands. You know, that's dangerous. You get your arm caught in a chair, you get a finger in there, you might even lose it. Now, here's the difference. Normally, you can't brawl out. Oh, oh God. The chair. The flag chair. Watch out, Josh. DL3 takes a chair to the face. Well, what I was getting at is normally in the state of Kentucky, it's against the law to cross the barricade, fight the crowd. In this instance, there is no crowd. They can do whatever they want. The only crowd is made up by the OVW locker room. There it are no rules, just total anarchy here. And I think we're just getting started. And we haven't even gotten into the ring yet, Doc. Right to Nailed. the back. Down the back of Shallow Jones. Shallow's head bouncing off the ring post there. <laughs> DL3 just got knocked out. Big D coming in, tries to lace. <laughs> tries to lace a shot across the back of Sin Bodhi. Uh, Sin, I think that table's broken, sir. Oh! Oh, God, no. I don't think he wanted it that way. I don't think he cares. Is that a hula hoop? What, what, what's a man gonna do with a hula hoop no, in this situation? Oh! Shallow kicking the rope low. 100% legal in this contest. Scooping a slam from Shallow Jones now. Probably about as much wrestling as you're gonna see here as anything goes. Trash can lid stretched out across the chest of Sin Bodhi. Oh! He gonna need some milk! Bullseye! I think Sin Bodhi just ruined Shallow Jones' night, week, weekend, and everything else. This might be the opening Sin Bodhi was looking for. Well, Shiloh Jones, though, has taken back control in this anarchy contest. Josh, we'll be right back. What? Wrestling. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory, to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. 
The Wrestling Brand. It doesn't matter if you've loved a day in your life. Within four to six weeks, we're gonna teach you how to weld. TV, the Anarchy title on the line, and it's been all chaos during the break. Hey. These guys have just been brawling on the outside of the ring. Chunks of tables, trash can lids, a bag of popcorn, and a scoop slam on a hula hoop. Uh-oh, Big D. Oh, Big D tried to get out involved. Again, this match, an empty arena brawl because of some anarchy. It happened earlier today with Sin's travel schedule. We're still bringing it to you, the fans. And this, I have to say, might go down as the most anarchy I've ever seen in an anarchy championship match. Whether I've been involved with or just around OVW for the better part of almost 20 years, and this is the craziest thing I've ever witnessed in the Davis Arena. Shallow just getting knocked around like a pinball. Getting choked by Simbo D. The OVW roster going crazy. DL3 getting involved, and this is what I was talking about a couple weeks ago. When you're facing off against the entourage, any member of the entourage, you have to take on all three. Oh, Shallow with a beautiful spin kick. Looked like to the rib cage of Sin. Cover, cover here. It's a two count. I thought it was going to be three. Is Sin, though. God, that's the most horrible game of got your nose I've ever seen. Shallow blocks the shot. Sin goes face first into the buckle. Oh, no. That's still, that's still buckle. It's still a ring right there. As you see. They're going up top. Oh no. This is getting high no, risk, Josh. Oh no, no. This isn't looking good for either man. Not at all. Oh! Shallow Jones head brought down to that top buckle. Watch out, Big D. Oh no. Sin's lining up. Double monkey flip. I don't think I've ever seen anything. Sid just choke slammed himself into Big D. Talk about self help. Self destruction. Oh. Oh, that's just a Louisville Slugger baseball bat to the knee. Nothing fancy about that, but effective. Damn, it's effective. Shallow Jones now. He he looks like the a switch has flipped. Ah, what was that? He's spitting his eyes. Is that missed? I couldn't see. Sin's this, got this the bat. Ooh. And there's a shot for Big D for good measure. Sin Bodie. <laughs> Stepped up to the plate and has knocked out the entourage. Sin's calling his shot. Home run! Long live the babe. I never thought I'd hear myself say this before Shiloh. Cover. A, oh. a two count. I thought that was it. No, this match, this match, this insane match continues. Shiloh Jones trying to roll to the floor. Sid just rakes across the back. They're getting 
too close to me here, Josh. Too close to you, I'm sitting right beside you. Yeah, but at least you're between me and them. Oh! oh. Self choke slam. Good God, what could happen next? This is mayhem, this is chaos, this is anarchy! What is this? Oh God! It's a piece of pizza out of the pizza. trash can! Oh God! Those trash cans. Oh. Big D gets kicked away! Stick to the midsection, followed by that baseball bat for good measure. Oh, I have to say, after that, I really thought Sin had it, but it looks to me like Shiloh Jones might still be the king of the streets. Shiloh. Wait a second. Sin with the roll up. Thought that was it. I thought that was, was a three. It's called for Tallulah Bell! Rolls into the cover! We have a new, we have a new American champion! The warlord of weird, Sid Moody, has captured the Anarchy Championship. You never know what's gonna happen here on OVW TV, but I can tell you this, tonight is SNS number 100, and your new Anarchy Champion, Sin Modi, will be in the house. You'll see the Super what? Gauntlet with all former OVW Heavyweight Champions, and you have until 5 p.m. to get your tickets now at GladiatorSportsNetwork.live. For Josh Ashcraft, I am Dr. Man Beast, Ted McNeiler, and we'll see you tonight at SNS number 100. Yeah!